All right, here we are. Welcome back to the program, uh, the Allure Beetle Brunch Live. Again, my guest uh, today is a uh, world famous John Lennon. You know, I hate to say impressionist because he's a tribute artist, but he does a great job of it. And he'll explain more about uh, why he recorded his video that we're going to watch a little bit later on in the show. But he's been featured in the uh, John Lennon story, Beatle Wives, the Linda McCartney story for 25 years, as you know, in the band Revolution. And uh, the show you're going to see on Thursday night, Just Imagine, which is the story of John Lennon post Beatles breakup. And it's uh, pretty incredible. So let's have a warm welcome again for our guest of the cruise, Tim Piper. Hey, Tim. Hey. Hey, Beetle Brunches. Been hanging out and having a few uh, beers with them on the uh, yes at the pub. And of they course, do have they, a, they have a nice pub here. the Beatles back there too today. We're, we're going to get to meet uh, Beatlemania live here. Right. They're going to play for us uh, tomorrow night, but we'll talk to them in, in just a bit. So the crew's been going well for you. Going well. Nice. Good to have you back. Working uh, on my breaststroke. Are you really okay? Oh yeah. I'm going to let that one just simmer. Okay. So. All right. Well, we, we ended yesterday's show by uh, where it really began in America, which was Beatlemania, when the Beatles came to yes. uh, New York City and played the Ed Sullivan show. We know that was really crazy. That was real mania. I mean, it had been building for a few weeks here in America or there in America. We're out in the middle of the ocean. But once they conquered America and they were only in the States for 13 days, they went back. But they didn't get a lot of time off. They literally had like one day off when they got back to England. Right. Well, they were starting to film a movie. Well, United Artists... Gave a huge sum of, was it 65 million? No, more like $65,000 because they didn't think the Beatles were going to last. And Walter Shenson produced the film. It was originally called Beatlemania, believe it or not. But again, just like with Please Please Me and John thought, ah, we can have a better title for the movie, you know. So Walter Shenson says, all right, John, you got 24 hours to come up with something. Now Ringo is kind of famous for his malpropisms. And one night Ringo was working hard, you know, and he goes, man, it's been a hard day's night. And John says, that's it. And he goes home, knocks it out, and comes up with, It's been a hard day's night, and I've been working like a dog. But when I get home to you, I find the things that you do made me feel all right. Cool thing about that, well, there are two things. John couldn't sing the high part, so obviously Paul came in and right. did when, when I'm home, everything seems to be right. Another Lennon McCartney spectacular combination. And the question <laughs> most people had after that song was released and for the next 40 years is what is that opening chord? It's like you have to know what, what are these secret ingredients in KFC or whatever. Right. Know? I think we could probably ask John and Beatlemania Live might have the exact terminology for it. But John's playing down here. He's doing one of these. George is up here. George Martin comes in with the piano and Paul's playing. You add them all up together and you've got the magic answer. Even Randy Bachman from Bachman from the Old Guard did a YouTube breakdown of what the chord is. So check it out on YouTube. But there's no way one guy could play that just on one guitar. Even if you ask not. George, he goes, I don't know, I just did this. You know? <laughs> That's incredible. So the movie was a huge hit, and it was filmed in black and white. Uh, yes. I think on purpose, because the, the same reason that they liked George Martin, that he was into those old classic comedies, that's why they liked Dick Lester. He had done those... Uh, cool, cool Richard movies. Lester, the director of the film, he did this Walking Standing film. It was, it was later seen as the first music video, if you will. If you remember MTV, when they actually used to do music videos, A Hard Day's Night was considered the first music video of its time. And it's funny because Help could probably air on MTV today. It's like, you know, that, what, are the, what are those uh, shows about being in the house, living in the... Oh, right, right. <laughs> so living in the house. But back to A Hard Day's Night. So that movie was incredible. And then they, they realized they have to do a U.S. tour. Because when they came here for 13 days, they only did a couple of shows. This is the real full-blown tour. They start in San Francisco. I don't know who planned it because they San Francisco, then they're in, uh, in Vancouver, and then they're in uh, Las Vegas, and they kind of were like all over the map. And they had a private Electra jet, and um, one, I've met Ivor Davies. Anybody know the name Ivor Davies? He's, a, he's an author, and he was a Londoner who moved to Los Angeles. He got a call the night before. It was the, uh, the London Times, and his boss said, I want you to jump on a plane tomorrow, go to San Francisco. You're going on the Beatles tour with them. He says, okay. So for the next 34 cities, he was front row being pelted by jelly beans and what have you, screaming girls. <clears throat> he was 25 at the time. And he says it was <clears throat> the adventure of his life. 
Right. So he, yeah, he wrote a, a really excellent book about it, which chronicles even more about the Beatles. The Beatles and, and Me on tour is the yeah, name of his it's, book. Yeah, it's really fantastic. He'd be happy to know that we're talking about him. He's a great guy.